Well, one of the difficult things about living in the forest and uh, increasing biodiversity and having more animal life is that animal life tends to invade your life a little bit. In this, I mean, in this case, uh, there's a beehive here that has grown quite large. Wow, that's huge. In a uh, composting toilet. You can see it over here. I'll get some closer in photos. They're kind of angry right now. We open this door. Obviously, having bees in a toilet in a spot where you sit down over, uh, <laughs> it's not a good location. So uh, we didn't notice them for quite a while because this toilet wasn't in much use. And uh, so we're going to have to get them out of there. Uh, this also tells us that, that it really is valuable to put uh, sheltered space out in the forest. There really isn't enough, uh, otherwise they wouldn't have chosen this particular spot. If we artificially make a lot of little spots like this, we'll actually be increasing the bee population here, which of course affects everything else. The bees are under a lot of stress worldwide and, and they're sort of an indicator of whether we're doing well or not. Well, uh, worldwide we're not doing so good, we're seeing bee die-offs, and uh, here we hope to provide a lot of space for them so that they have no problem. Bueno, entonces podemos caminar por allá o no? No, no, no. Yo creo que no, tal vez no. Ok. Bueno, well, voy a tomar algunas fotos y podemos quitarlos otro día. Sí. Mira, hay un poco de, de lugar de miel. Sí, esa es la cera. De... La cera, sí. Cera. Yeah. Ok, 